Look at my disgusting bike. Blech. In this video, I show my friend AJ, the honest biker, how to clean her motorcycle and explain the do's and don'ts when washing a bike. As you'll see, AJ demonstrates that you can have fun from cleaning your motorbike. Thank you, darling. Hands and I can kiss you. I'm going back in the game. Let me be shown how to do things, kids. Okay? <laughs> Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be evil Knievel. You're filming now. I am filming now. It looks so much better already. It does look so much better already, doesn't it? Actually, black, black, not, not grey, dirt black. We haven't finished yet. I know! I'm impressed. Hi there guys, how are you doing? So today I'm with my friend AJ. Hey. This is AJ's bike. AJ, tell us a little bit about your bike. So this is my lovely bike, Ono, as a lot of you will know. I'm sure you would have seen if you follow me online on the Honest Biker. So, who's <laughs> um, I haven't used this bike since December because I am a fair weather rider. I'm not ashamed to admit it. With my health conditions and things, it's just easier for me. You do you, remember? Ride your own ride. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so yeah, it just needs a thorough going over. It hasn't had a good clean in a good, well, four months. So today's the day and feels the man, so. <laughs> yeah, so I've offered to come round. Now, some of you may have seen my kind of recent-ish video, how to clean your motorcycle using Auto Bright Extreme products. Now, my bike was pretty clean to start with and a few people commented on that, saying, well, you've got a clean bike to start with. Fair enough. But it did come up even cleaner, didn't it? It looked absolutely amazing. It, it looked, it looked so, <laughs> so what we're going to do here is um, this is the um, pre pre cleaner. Pre cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> outtake number pre one. Yeah, outtake number one. So this is the auto bike cleaner. This is a pre wash. So basically, we're going to hose the bike down, use a pre wash, start using all the different products. Now. This isn't going to be one of my super long videos. AJ and her videos, she's taught me a thing or two, they're pretty snappy to the point. Five minutes. <laughs> so what, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the different parts of the bike. I'm going to show you what products I'm using. Maybe parts on a few tips as well. It's always when you start filming that the world decides to bypass down your road. Oh, it's always the way. It's always the way. Yeah, always the way. So what I'm going to do, is as I'm cleaning the bike, I'm going to pass on a few tips. Now, if you got, now if you, I can't speak. I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> so as I'm cleaning the bike, I'm going to pass on a few tips. Now, a few of you guys asked me some questions about the products. For example, what I've got on here now is a mist spray, an atom spray trigger, because I found that before this come out quite clunky. But Auto Bright Direct have sent me this mist sprayer and it works a real treat, so I'm going to show you that. Anyone else? Bus, right, truck, train, helicopter? Yeah. We have got that down got the helicopter. end of the road. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is hose the bike down, get on with it. We're going to take our time doing it this afternoon, just have a little bit of fun. Here we go. Suit up, Yo. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone's going around the back. Yeah. So that road's there. Yeah. AJ. Hey. The first thing we're going to do is Sorry. give the bike a pre-wash. Yes. So we're just going to suck the bike down, give it a good old, good old soaking, and then we're going to use our extreme bike cleaner as a pre-wash. Get rid of all the stubborn marks. This just stays on the bike for one to two minutes. So a keep an eye on the clock. That's what we do first. So whenever you're ready with a hose. Yeah, just go. Cut all this. So I, as you know, I always tend to start from the top, work down. What you don't want to do while we're doing this pre-wash is you don't want to work the dirt into the paintwork. 
which is why we don't use a sponge or a mitt or anything to start with. Let the water work, do its job. Then we're going to use the pre-wash and then we're going to use the snow foam and then it's after that stage that I start to actually use something to aggregate the dirt and move it all around. I don't want to just kind of scratch all the paintwork up. I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> I think it's a little bit too late for that. <laughs> right? I'm still going to do a dump person's guide to how to clean a motorcycle. I'm dumb person again. I need to be shown how to do things, okay? <laughs> I don't get out much, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to point that out, actually. Um, the sun is out, but it's not hot today, really. So the sun's not going to dry it. So next thing we want to do, AJ, come on this side so the camera can see. Got our extreme bike cleaner. Basically, so they start from the top and turn this on. And it just puts out an atomized spray. We're just going to cover the bike. We're going to keep an eye on the clock. There's just a couple of minutes on this. So, if you come and take over from me, and I'll get a nice close up of you, so just basically cover the bike both sides of that. And as you can see guys, instead of it coming out clunky with this new trigger that uh, Autobro have sent me, comes out a really nice mist spray, it which I good. much prefer. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah, it smells like, I feel like I'm in a pine forest somewhere in Colorado. Keep spraying. <laughs> <laughs> We're against the clock on this bit. Oh, yeah. That's all right. I'm going downwind, so it's helpful. And it's family channel as well, so we have to watch the language today, OJ. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Put a pound in the square there. Okay, I found, I've got it. Feel free to take over if I'm not doing No, you're doing a great job. It actually smells like Thailand, but in a good way. So AJ just said about the tyres, and it's good to get, it's okay to get on the tyres, because we're going to give them a good old scrub afterwards as well. So we're going to try and get the whole bike super clean. How does that feel to you? Is it good? It already looks clean. <laughs> so, yes. And it's, do you know what? It's not leaking as well, which a lot of them do. Yeah. So like when you, you know, like if you keep, keep doing a pump action on some products, yeah. you get that leakage all on your hands, but my hands are still nice. Yeah, nice and clean. Awesome. Just saying to AJ, don't forget to get up underneath the bike as well. It's and those sort of areas. That's why I brought him. <laughs> right, AJ, time to rinse it off. We're going to work from the top, nice wide spray. So we're just saying, it looks so much better already, doesn't it? It's a different colour. Different colour, and we've just used the Auto Bright Extreme, Auto Bright Direct Extreme Pre-Wash. It's so satisfying, see all the grime come off already. We've not even started, really. So... We don't need to film the whole of the rinsing off. We're basically using water to rinse off the pre-wash. Brilliant. So you can see AJ's just got a pressure washer. I washed my wife's car last night because I cleaned my speed trip all and it looked absolutely amazing. So she asked me to clean her car. So I've already got a little bit of the Magic Foam, which is snow foam in here. So I'm just gonna give this a little top up, a little top up of water, plug it into the karcher, uh, pressure washer then AJ's going to get let loose on this I always say don't hold the pressure washer too close to the bike have a little bit of a distance so you don't put too much pressure on the rubber and all the bearings and all that kind of thing so that's what we're going to do now yeah yes right pressure washer is ready now, we kind of, time is a little bit wrong because my brand new video where I got invited to triumph to the reveal of the limited edition Bonneville T120 Black has literally just gone live. And I've had to keep really quiet about it, right? Uh, yeah, you didn't even tell me. I didn't tell you. didn't even you. tell me. I'm, I'm, I'm gutted myself. Right, so what you got there? Some energy. Substance. Right. And H2O because, you know. Water for me, so thank you. hydrated. Let's uh, let's get um, foaming. Right, when you're ready then AJ, let's get to it. Anywhere. Start from the top, work your way down. 
Now, can that be adjusted at all or not? No, it's fine. That'd be all right. Just give it a good soaking. That's it. That's good. We're just basically going to cover the bike in this. That's it. All over the engine. Start from the top over the seat. I know you fans. <laughs> it's not that kind of video. the really nasty bits as well and the panniers that's it try and get down the gap of the side of the panniers as well and yeah. I'll keep an eye on the clock okay, you do it? Uh, you're good it's coming a little bit runnier than I would have liked but it's fine different washer than we usually use and it's the first time we've used this pressure washer for the snow foam so but it's going to do a good job though and basically we then leave that on there for about five to eight minutes <laughs> right listen we need to get that off now it's had five minutes now this is um i'm not sure what's oh we didn't have it on mix that's why oh there you go well you know now Come on then. Prepare to, prepare to be sprayed. You live, you learn. It's all about learning, guys. Okay, so we didn't get the mix right on the, on the uh, pressure washer, but hey ho. So I say, when you do the pressure washer, just don't get it so close to all the um, rubbers and the chain, especially like the O-links in the Have chain. It set on soft. Make soft sure is good. Soft. AJ's pressure washer actually isn't as powerful as mine, so that's a good thing actually for bikes. You filming now? I am filming now. It looks so much better already. It does look so much better already, doesn't it? It's actually black black, not, not grey dirt black. We haven't finished yet. I know! I'm impressed. Okay, AJ, so oh. the next part is I've just thrown some products at you. Yep. What have we got there? St streak free shampoo by Auto Bright Direct. And they also sent me this brush I'm because you, right you yeah. may remember that I used uh, a muck off brush, let's say the name. I used a muck off brush, Ooh. which I much preferred than the mitt that they kindly sent me. Um, but now they've kindly sent me this brush as well to show that they they do everything. They do everything. So now we're going to get uh, some buckets, put the streak free shampoo in a bucket, um, and also get some rinse water, and we're going to wash the bike down. Just want to point out that for any nice paint work, just use this good quality hand mitt or a good quality sponge. Um, you can use the brush; it's really really soft. But I prefer to use this on the paint work, so the brush will be on everything else but the paint. Okay, let's get to it. Start at the top on the paintwork with the nice sponge. Don't use the sponge or anything else, we use the brush, but just start on the top, dab it in, dab it in the paintwork and let it start running down. So from here and down? Yeah. On the paint? Yeah, on the paint on the seat. Dunk it in, yeah? Yeah. Give it a soak in. Mm. That's it. Oh, it's nice. We need to get a rinse bucket in the moment as well, but let's do this first. Wow. Just it. Yeah, that's it. Squeeze this a little run. Again. That's it. Wow. Okay, so the reason we're doing this is we're trying not trying to turn the put my hand in, we're not rubbing the dirt into the paint. Although the pre, the pre-wash and the magic foam would have removed most of the dirt, but this just does the last little stage. And after this little bit, once you've done this, then you can start rubbing it in, which is much nicer. So should I try and get a nice? That's why you get swirls in paint work. You see on cars, people just use dirty sponges and they basically just work the um, dirt, into, dirt the into the paint. In the top coat. That's it, and then we get the brush out. Yeah. 
I don't have that much paint. <laughs> That's fine. Sorry. It still looks awesome though. It does actually. Again, just to make this clear, what we do is AJ's just about to put a bit more shampoo on the paints, yeah. on the tank. Yeah, work we'll that in, in, do little circular motions. Now, if the bike is really, really dirty, you can get bits of dirt and grit on the end of the sponge. So that's why we have this second bucket. So once you've done that stage, pop it in, rinse it out. There you go. And then you pop that hand mitt back into your green bucket and you've got no dirt on the sponge. So you learn every day's a, every day's a school day. Every day's a school day. Every day's a school day. <laughs> cool. I'll just keep going all over this. That's it. Here, like all over. Well, we're now what we're going to do, because we've done the paint, we're now going to get that brush and we can use the brush to go over absolutely everything else. Okay, so what we're going to do now is use this nice, it's a soft, soft. brush, really soft brush, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I've got so, clean hands, so that it's, it is quite soft. There you go. So we're going to start from the top of the bike and work our way down. What we don't want to do is get this, the um, brush covered in muck from around the chain and around the wheels. So we, we're going to ignore that bit for the moment and just get the bike looking the best we can using this nice sponge, or rather nice brush. All around the top. Yeah. And you still, you can still use the rinse bucket yep. with the brush as well. Here. So I'm going to dunk in there and then I'm going to soak up again. Especially if the bike hasn't been cleaned for a while, which this one hasn't, it, you know, you do tend to get lots of bits of loose mud and grime on there. So it just helps protect it. Even though it's leather, you can still scratch the leather. So. Oh yeah. So we're just kind of going from the top to the That's middle, it. avoiding this bit for now. Nooks and cries. Great job. Danger Dave. Yeah, he's, he's seen some, some stuff. And then this is Diego Del Fuego. Uh, okay. So I'm just <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay. We've pretty much done the whole bike except the really, really grubby bits around the wheels and the chain. So now what um, I suggest is we get the hose pipe out and we just rinse this off. And then I'm going to get another brush which is a bit more. Um, it's kind of used for wheels and things, really. A bit more a bit, robust. A bit more robust. There you go. And that's what we do for the other parts, which we haven't looked at yet. Don't use this brush. That's a bad idea. <laughs> okay, let's rinse. See, what's that song? She's my cherry pie. Sweet cherry pie. That one. Let's see that. I'll get my views up. <laughs> Top to bottom. I must admit, I don't usually have quite so much fun when I'm cleaning my bike. Solo by myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. Sorry, back to school. There we go. Right, we don't need to film the whole thing, so basically we're just getting all the soap off with uh, cold water from the hose pipe. Clearing the suds. Good job. Okay, so AJ's just done a great job getting all of the um, soap off. Now what we're gonna do, we've got these brushes here, which are my general kind of Menke brushes. Um, they're still, you know, good quality, but now we're gonna get to work around the chain and under there, which needs a little bit of love. Because, yeah, yeah, just in the winter, elements have kind of got underneath the um, cover, and we're gonna come to that later. But that's the very last thing we wanna touch once the bike's clean. Okay, so we're basically just going to get these sponges, get them nice and wet, and all the really manky parts of the bike, AJ is going to start cleaning. She's got her gloves on, so she means business. Let's go. <laughs> so AJ just suggested that she gets a little rolling road out to put under the back wheel, which is going to help us cleaning the, around the discs and the chain. Yep. Good call, AJ. It's a bit, of, it's a bit manual, if that makes sense. So yeah. it's not very, it's not smooth, but what you do is just, manually move the wheel like that nice so yeah because for people that don't have center stands like this yeah. it just helps you do your maintenance it's brilliant like, yeah good job all right aj is around the back of the bike getting rid of all the muck all the dirt from underneath the bike i've got out the pet dryer so what i'm doing is i'm starting to dry the bike working from the top down because what we want to do today as well is give it a good coat of ACF 50. So before we apply the ACF 50, 
we want the bike to be really dry, like bone dry. And you're in the shade, getting very cold. Coming in for your close-up. I'm ready for my close-up. Nice one. And I did notice you've got a, a chain cleaning brush as well, haven't you? Yes, I have. It's the three-walled brush, which I use um, after I do like a deep clean like this. Yep. I then tend to kind of just hang the brush over and then run the wheel so it cleans yeah. all, si all three sides. Cool. So, yes, yeah, just for now, this is the nitty-gritty. So. Okay, nice one. As I say, we're moving at a pace here today. But what I just said to AJ is you've got this um, pre-wash cleaner. So even though we've already applied soap, it doesn't matter if you get into these really awkward, tricky places and give it another little, uh, little spray there. Leave that for a few minutes. All around this area here, around the wheel, we can turn the wheel around. But you can see that can do a really, really good job. So we'll leave that on there for a couple of minutes then hose that down again and then get back to the soap again. So I just pointed out to AJ that even though we've got the pre-wash on there, you can still use brushes and agitate all the dirt and the stubborn marks with brushes, but you still don't leave on there for too long. So we're just doing that quickly and then we're gonna hose that off. AJ asked me, um, I said, oh, I don't wanna teach you to suck eggs, but she said, no, just show me everything the way you would do it. So when drying the bike, I always used to use a good quality drying towel, which I then used to just lay over the tank, let that kind of soak up the water for a while, and just basically, that does a great job. But as you've seen in my recent video, I've got this pet dryer, and this pet dryer does an amazing job of really blowing all the water out everywhere. So that's what we're gonna do, get the bike really nice and dry. Don't use... Don't use this towel on all the grubby bits of the bike either. Get another kind of manky old, nice quality manky cloth. Good old t-shirt um, to use on the yeah, soft cloth and all the other kind of dirty bits of the bike. Save this for um, good quality paintwork. Or even like old rags, like t-shirts, like So because we're going to put ACF 50 on the bike and it's good on the electrics as well, I've just asked AJ to take off the side panels and they're going to be dirty behind there as well. So we're just going to put a, a light kind of, there we go. Sorry. of <laughs> uh, give a sponge, put a little bit of uh, soap on there just to clean them up a little bit, but being careful with water and the electrics. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is apply some ACF 50 to AJ's bike. Of oh, this. So... You can see there's quite a lot going on there. You don't need to put on as much as that. But what we're going to do is just, it doesn't matter about, as I said, getting over the electrics. So there we go. Cover it all over. And basically we're going to cover the whole bike. Oh, I'll tell you what we haven't done. We haven't covered up the, the tires and the wheels. So basically with this AC50, you do not want to get it on your brakes or on your tires. So for now, we're just going to concentrate on this little area around the engine. Um, maybe AJ's got some towels. I didn't bring any with me, stupidly, to cover up the tyres. Okay, let's do. Let's crack on with that. So I'm just showing AJ a few little tips on on using this. So say we've gone to the aerosol. I've been working in with my detailing brush. You can squirt it on. Come up close, AJ. You can squirt it on. Once you squirt it on, it will start running, creeping into all the parts of the engine around these nuts and bolts. Get your detailing brush and work that in. Okay, now what you can also do is get um, a cloth. This is a microfiber cloth. This has already got some ACF50 on there, but you can start to work that in there as well. This is great for things like on the tank and down the frame as well. You can see it working all the way around there. Work that in. Give it a little squirt and basically work that in. What I do like to do, squirt it, leave it so it starts running and creeping all over the place. There you go. So as you can see, we've sprayed the ACF-15, we used a cloth, we used a brush, we're letting it kind of move around and you see it's 
creeping a little bit, which is great, happy about that. Um, covering that as much of the bike as possible, even the rubbers and plastics, um, that's all fine. AJ is just making her way around to do the truck absorbers now. Um, give them a back arrest. She's doing a great job. Working in the nooks and crannies. Working in the little nooks and crannies. Yep, really you can see we put some AC50 in the lid and then we're using the detailing brush to, to really work it in there. Let me get behind you, mate. Like that. That's it. Look at that. Cracking job. Jobs are good. And so as you can see now guys, we've gone over all the engine, the frame, the guards, we haven't done the tank yet, but we've covered it all in ACF 50 and it looks amazing. So now we're just going to use this microfiber cloth just to start wiping it down and filling it all out. Okay, you can see that we've squirted over all the electrics behind that panel. Now remember ACF 50 was first created and invented for the aero technology system, what they called aeroplanes, Aero, helicopters. Yeah. They're aero people. Aero people, that's it. Not the chocolate bar. <laughs> Not the chocolate bar, no. <laughs> so we're rushing a little bit, but uh, bear with us. Aeronautical. Aeronautical, there yeah. you go. So we're trying to get it all squeezed in today, get the whole bike sort of done for AJ today. Obviously she's doing a lot of work on it. But look at that, what a transformation already, eh? transforming that isn't it? Mate I can see my face in that. I've eaten dinner off it, put it that way. So I've just said a few times ACF 50 is really good for getting rid of all the dirt and grime and muck as well. So people say why do you use it on all the plasticky bits? I will repeat myself because it gets rid of all the crap. That's pretty good. Oh, that's a little fonder look at that. Oh look at that. That little baby. You're so handsome, I could kiss you. Mwah. So, once you've pretty much gone over and hold a bike with the cloth that like AJ's doing now, I've well, then got a brand new microfiber cloth. Um, it's just that the others are a bit mucky now, but we're just going to go over the bike again with this just to dry it all off. Only the best for me. Only the best for AJ. Only the best for me. Mwah. Yo, AJ. Hi. So, we just finished. Working in the ACF 50, drying it all off, and how does that look? Like new. Like new, she says. Not this bit. But yeah, no, we're good. not looking at that bit. <laughs> so, really, really pleased. We've still got a few more things to do. And as I was finishing off a few little touches, I've had some ideas. So, let's just show you guys. So, as you can see, all we've used on here, apart from the ACF 50, everything has been Auto Bike Direct products. So as I mentioned with my video, yes, my video, my bike was looking pretty clean before I started, but it still really was transformed by the time I finished. So, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm not sure your, no, your mount there. So now there's a couple of things I was going to say. So let me go and grab a couple of parts and just show you a couple of little extra little tips. So I was just explaining to AJ. It doesn't need to be done in this particular area, but I just wanted to show you a little tip. So get your WD-40, mm -hmm. give it a spray in an area that is difficult to reach. Is that in here? Yeah, in there. Where are we? There you go. Yeah. Spray it in there. And then basically get your brush and work it all in. Now you can see it really gets in, same with the ACF 50, but just as a final once you've dried off the ACF 50, you see little dirty patches, and you can just put some ace, uh, some WD 40 in there just to clean off any excess muck that may be left. Just finish it off. Just finish it off. Super tip. Yeah. <laughs> and again, we're just going to use our dry cloth just to clean it up. Get a finger in there and look at that. Also around this side, you've got the um, throttle linkage there. Yeah? So we have cleaned up the throttle linkage a little bit, and where you've got your cable going there, you can clean that up a little bit more, which we might do in a moment, but you can also put some um, three-in-one oil on there, just to kind of keep that lubed up as well, because we don't want to drive thing off. 
Right, um, what I didn't point out was that I do like to put a cover of some description over the tyres and the wheels and the brakes. So you don't get ACF 50 on your brakes or in your brakes. Not a good idea. So AJ's got this plastic. Great job. So now we're going to have a go at um, working on the wheels and the brake discs and especially at the back which is where the elements, the weather has got underneath the cover. So you can see it's not too too bad but the weather, the elements, the rain and a bit of corrosion just formed those discs but we're going to wipe those off in a moment. So we're just getting underneath the bike looking at the chain. It's not too 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 bad but what we're going to do now is get the degrease and we're just going to put some degrease on that chain try and um, clean that chain up while it's on the little rolling road. Now you will get some smoke burning off from the ACF 15, from the exhaust. So when you first start it up, when you start it up for the first time, that's gonna happen, don't panic. Totally uh, normal. That's just the ACF 50 burning off the hot exhaust headers. So we can try and show you how we clean the chain. Now AJ's got this chain cleaning brush. You can see it's got three ways on there. So you get three parts of the chain. And a detailing one. Yeah, and a little detailing one. So basically, you can give that little squirt with the um, chain degreaser. And then also on the chain. And then that goes... Like that. Like Ooh, that. Like that. Underneath, backwards and forwards, and from the side as well. So it gets all three. All three parts yep. of the chain. All three parts of the chain. And every now and again you give a little squirt with that. And then you um, rotate the wheel. Now as I say, it's a little bit awkward for us at the moment, but that's the technique. So yeah, and then you gotta go all the way around. <laughs> Hold on to it like you would your hopes and dreams and give it a turn. There you go. With your little rolling road, it works a treat, doesn't it? Yeah, and then right. get back to the next bit. Next. You can see if I do a close up, you can see it's not too bad actually. But yeah, we're gonna we'll show you at the end, see how it comes out at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna leave AJ to clean the chain because she's doing a fantastic job with that. How's yeah. that coming? That's Looking good. good. That, that, that grease coming All off. the grease is coming off. And look, it used to be that colour. Yeah. You had a little bit of rust on there as well, and that's all come yeah. off as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm actually impressed. I didn't think it was going to get it off to be fair, but um, and it is. Yeah, it has done. It's shocked, shocked and surprised me. Nice one. So while AJ is cleaning the chain, I've got this disc brake cleaner from Muckoff. So I have got some ultrafine wire wall, and you can use the Scotch Brite to basically wrap around there, wipe that off. But to start with, I've just got this old, nice cloth. I'm literally just going to spray some of that on the disc and then wipe that round just for starters to see how much muck is coming and come off of there. If it comes through, if there's any little bits of um, light surface rust, we're gonna get some ultrafine wire wall on there as well. That's the technique. We can rush in a little bit now on the AJ because the lights, the sun's dipping down, it's getting a bit colder, but we're getting there, it's looking good. Nice. That, it took me ages to figure out for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was absolutely sweating the first time I did it. I bet. We've got this fine steel wall, this ultra fine steel wall, which uh, I use on lots of things, especially on the exhaust. But uh, we're just going to yank a piece off of that and use some of that on the discs. I 
can literally see my reflection. I'm, just, I'm afraid I'm going to hit the black paint on that little bit there. Uh -huh. But um, I don't want to damage the paint. So I'll just do that and then... Nice. So while I've been looking at the front disc, AJ has just been degreasing the chain. And that is looking really nice. She's just now going to wipe off some of the parts of the frame. We've got a bit of grease on, that's all. You can see, great job, and then we're gonna just put some lube on there in a moment. Yo, so you're gonna put the panels back on, yeah? Yeah, it's easy as one, two, three. You want there, one, two, three. This is not gonna work now, because you're watching me. One, two, three. Gosh. Oh, this is from my wiper, that's not from the bike. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the We'll rotate that round in a moment, but... Yeah. Yeah. I like to kind of use that brake cleaner first. We don't, if there is any big lumps of crap in there. Yeah. And muck and dirt and grit, yeah. then we don't work it into the disc. How I job that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go. Right. A bit more. That's good. Yeah? Yeah, one more bit, sorry. That's it. Brilliant. Yeah. So that's the disc pretty much. I mean we rushed it, haven't we? But that's looking pretty damn good. Mate, considering it was full of rust and it was dull and God knows what. This is where you insert a flashback to what they were before. Yeah. That's pretty damn good. So, um, brake disc cleaner and a bit of ultrafine wire wall on that one. So you can use Scotch Bright pad, but um, that's the trick. What are you doing, AJ? Well, I'm currently cleaning my black pipes, which are actually see through breather tubes. Well, this one is anyway, but like. Clear, a clear breather pipe. Yeah, I'm just taking them out the hold and giving them a. A little wipe down like a cow's udder. Yeah. You know? So we um, just used the de degrease on that, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, they've come out really nice, haven't they? Get in there. Yep. Yay. <laughs> AJ. Hello. I'm under here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Actually, I should do that. That's a lot easier, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just trying to get this out. Well, fiddling around. Yeah. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted there to get all of these go. out. So that I can give it a nice little yeah. rub down. What did you just say to me? You didn't know that pipe was clear? No, I don't think it's ever been cleaned. So I've just figured out this breathing excess overflow is uh, clear, apparently. Nice. So, yeah. Girls enjoying the clean? Oh, yeah. Love it. So we haven't done right underneath there, but hey ho, who's going <laughs> to gonna lay on the floor at the angle we are looking at that? Me. So AJ's been hard to work on the chain. And we've now got to lube it up, but look, that's come up really, really nice. So, yeah. Better than it was. It was rusty and dull. So, there we go. I should probably point out as well, obviously, if your chain is deeper than surface rust, get it replaced. And if you've got any tight spots or loose spots, like when you're doing your chain, make sure to replace it. And check your sprockets as well. So, yeah. So, we're just going to have a good look at the bike. See how it looks. How does it look to you? Clean. Clean. Clean and new and dandy. Okay. Yes. Let's have a little close-up look at it, shall we? Yep, go on. So we were thinking about putting some ceramic coating on it, which you may do in a moment. But quite a difference, isn't there? We haven't cleaned the uh, visor. Nope. There's a couple of things where, and we actually haven't done the tank because there's a reason behind that, isn't there? Ah, uh, yeah, it's but, got, uh, got a little crater in the side of it. But we, <laughs> it's got a little dent which we're going to look at, but we're going to come back to the tank later. But uh, yeah, quite a transformation. But we knew, well, I knew, it's just a little bit of surface rust here and there in the winter, being left out in the winter. Yeah, it looks amazing.
The other thing we haven't touched are the uh, panniers, but we're going to put some leather cleaner protector on there as well. Go it all over my face. Yeah, I know it's that. <laughs> so, AJ, bike is a little bit cleaner now a than it was bit. earlier. Massively, massively. <laughs> so, um, the Auto Bright Direct products will be used. Everyone has their favourite products. So there are some amazing products out there. What do you think of the Auto Bright products? I'm actually proper impressed, and I don't normally say that I'm not being paid to say this either. It's um, I've always been a, a muck off girl. Uh, because I think when a lot of people start out biking, it's like the, the herd of brands. So it's always interesting to hear of different brands and to compare the two. I'm actually pretty impressed, and it smells amazing. Yeah. So awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today. <laughs> get the bike back up there. We'll get some of the chain and maybe put some ceramic spray on there. Yep, but yeah, it looks amazing. Though. Good job. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. It's not a, a rust bucket anymore. <laughs> so, but I can I'm, be an interviewed. I've got my chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be evil Knievel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the bike back up there. So, I brought my chair with me as well, and you're already sitting there remowing your clean bike which is exactly what i've done in another video and stay there We're i'm not, coming in for the really? close-up of this face because look at this face <laughs> greasy dirty don't Amazing, tell me mate. i don't work hard there we go when she's been under the through. bike look at that right matey so we've decided we're going to apply some ceramic spray sealant to the bike now i've got a video about how long this last for how you apply it properly so go check that out so we just literally, it's easy, spray it on. As soon as it sprays on, you just immediately wipe it off. So it's so easy. You're going to show me how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. And, and, then, then, you're, it and then you're going to do it. <laughs> Let's go. Auto Bright Direct Extreme Ceramic Spray Sealant. All you do is start with, um, around this engine area here, you just spray it on. frame as well. I'm not going to touch the tank. Get your cloth. As soon as it's on, just start wiping that in. It's as simple as that. Now we're just wiping it off. You want to take over? Okie dokie. Come on then. Wherever you see that, you just swipe that off. Ooh, smooth. Smooth operator. Operator. Okay. I think we've done that bit there. Yeah, so wherever you see that. I just put some on one particular smallish area. Yep. And then we can just work our way around the bike. And that will help to repel the water. The ACF 50 also repels water, as you know. Yep. Now, the thing about AJ, she hasn't really said a great deal, but she's not, have a lot of energy. She's awesome. <laughs> but she's also highly intelligent. Oh, okay. Don't be deceived by those looks <laughs> I don't know what to talk about <laughs> but she is seriously so um yeah she's kind of letting me guide her today but she really knows what she's talking about when it comes to bikes thanks it's disclaimer I'm actually intelligent okay how's it looking that bit's done Okay. So on to the next bit. Okay, so your spray's gonna behind let, you there. Loose. You can come around the other side? Yes. Two trainer girls go around the outside. Around the outside. So okay. just give that a light spray all over. She'll get your key out of the way. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yep, there you go. So all on the frame. And yeah, all over the frame. Just help protect it. Yeah. I'll kind of get back a little bit so you kind of get a bit more of an atomizer spray. That's it, like that. Like that. Yeah. Well, it's working. Nice. 
Yeah, they're products do something else, don't they? Uh, here, I'll yeah, I'm Franny and Jim, is it from me first and you work round? That's it. As soon, yeah. as, as soon as that's on there, they say you then wipe it straight off. So just smear it off. Ooh, look at that. So I'm using the, the fluffy side to try and get as much off as possible. And then we can do the not so fluffy side to kind of buff, I suppose. That's it. Sorry, I had to get out of the way, there's a cyclist. <sighs> On the path. <laughs> Use the road. Good one, nice one. Yeah, and it, it just wipes off really easily, doesn't it? it does. As I said, you don't really know it's on there, do you? No, it's actually, um, it brings the bike up really nice. It does bring the bike up really nice. I noticed the difference in my um, black paintwork when I put it on my speed triple. Well, like I said earlier, I thought this was charcoal grey. It turns out it's graphite black, so. There you go. So we've just applied the ceramic coating, or AJ has just finished off applying the ceramic coating all over the metal work, around the frame, and I say the metal parts, the good rust, um, even though we've got ACF 50 on there, but that's really looking amazing. Now, AJ, the honest biker, will give us her honest feedback as she uses this bike throughout the year. Now, if you don't follow her on Instagram or YouTube, then please do. We've just done a little video together, haven't we? Yes. At Ducati London. Watch me fall off of the Panigale V2 with yeah. style. <laughs> and we've got some ideas for a lot more content yeah, coming soon, haven't we? We've got loads of exciting things coming up this year. In fact, it's probably got a little bit too much, but you know what we're like. We like to get it all jam-packed and do as much as possible when we can. Indeed. So um, let's just finish up this video now, shall we? By saying floss. the bike looks amazing and there's a floss. Thanks for watching guys, hope to see you soon. Bye. Subscribe, like and comment.